time. It's tea time. Uh, it's tea time. It's tea time. Hey, what's good? It's Tammy Bryant. And we're about to talk about who should win MVP. Here's the thing. I've seen the list. They have LeBron, Steph Curry. Let's be real. LeBron, James, Steph Curry doing what they're supposed to do. They shouldn't even be on the list. Yes, phenomenal players, but are they that valuable to the team? Let's think about it. You take LeBron away, Cleveland still makes the playoffs. You take Curry away, the Warriors still make the playoffs. Do they win championships? Probably not, but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about the regular season. Westbrook did his thing. Westbrook and Harden's numbers are very, very similar. James Harden averaged 29.1 points. Westbrook, 31.6 points. Rebounds. James Harden averaged 8.1 rebounds. Westbrook averaged 10.7 rebounds. Pretty impressive for a point guard. Harden averaged 11.2 assists. Westbrook averaged 10.4 assists. You got Mr. Double Double versus the Triple Double. Now, now that we have the numbers, let's talk. Yeah. People say Westbrook is out of control, right? James Harden is it. Give the MVP to James Harden. Wait a minute. Let's go back to the numbers. Westbrook shot 42.5%. James Harden shot 44%. Doesn't sound like somebody that is that out of control to you. Who averaged more turnovers? I'll let you go look. And I think you're going to find out. James Harden did. So how is Westbrook out of control? Let's be real. If you take James Harden off of Houston, they're still a playoff basketball team. Maybe a lower seed, 7 or 8 seed, but they're still going to make the playoffs. If you take Westbrook off of OKC, they are not making the playoffs. In fact, they're probably the worst team in the NBA. Do me a favor and name one person that's on OKC. I'll wait. Unless you're a basketball guru, you're not going to have any names to drop because there are none. Now, that brings my next point of why we should be talking about LeBron James, Steph Curry, and all those other players as MVP. Great players, great numbers, but they're doing what they're supposed to do. Their teams are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Westbrook, he's overachieving. And that reason alone is what makes him MVP. Need I say any more? It's tea time. It's tea time. Uh, it's tea time. It's tea time.